article 2014 Japanese Grand Prix from Wikipedia, free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The 2014 Japanese Grand Prix, formerly the 2014 Formula One Japanese Grand Prix, was a Formula One motor race held on October 5th, 2014 at the Suzuka Circuit in Suzuka, Mie. It was the 15th race of the 2014 FIA Formula One World Championship and the 30th Formula One Japanese Grand Prix. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton won the 44-lap race starting from second position. His teammate Nico Rosberg finished second and Red Bull racing driver Sebastian Vettel was third. It was Hamilton's eighth victory of the season, his first at Suzuka and the 30th of his Formula One career. Heavy rain from Typhoon Fanfoni made the track surface wet and reduced visibility. Starting from behind the safety car, the race was stopped after two laps and resumed 20 minutes later. Rosberg immediately blocked a pass from Hamilton heading into the first corner. His car then experienced oversteer, and Hamilton reduced the time deficit between them. Hamilton challenged Rosberg for the lead over the next four laps before overtaking him on the 29th lap and pulling away. The race was scheduled to run for 53 laps, but was brought to an end on the 46th lap, with the result taken at the end of lap 44 after an accident involving Jules Bianchi. Bianchi lost control of his Marussia at the Dunlop curve on the 43rd lap and collided with a tractor crane that was tending to Adrian Sutil's Sauber, which had spun off on the previous lap. Bianchi sustained severe head injuries in the accident from which he died in his native France on July 17, 2015, thus becoming the first driver to die as a result of injuries sustained in a Formula One race since Ayrton Senna in 1994. The accident prompted Formula One's governing body, the Federation Internationale de Automobile, FIA, to investigate the incident with a 10-person panel, in which it was determined that there was no single cause that prompted the crash. The victory allowed Hamilton to increase his lead in the World Drivers' Championship to 10 points over Rosberg, with Daniel Ricciardo a distant third. Mercedes extended their advantage over Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship, and Williams remained ahead of Ferrari in the battle for third place with four races left in the season. Contents This article has seven sections. These sections are Section 1. Background Section 2. Practice. Section 3. Qualifying. Section 3.1. Qualifying classification. Section 4. Race. Section 4.1. After the race. Section 4.2. Race classification. Section 5. Championship standings after the race. Section 6. Notes and references. Section 6.1. Notes. Section 6.2. References. Section 7. External links. Included in this article is an info box summarizing the details of the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix. Section 1. Background. The 2014 Japanese Grand Prix was the 15th of the 19 races of the 2014 FIA Formula 1 World Championship and the 30th running of the event as part of the Formula 1 World Championship. It was held on October 5th on the 5.807 kilometer, 3.608 mile, 18 turn Suzuka circuit in Suzuka Mi. The event's official name was the 2014 Formula One Japanese Grand Prix, and it was scheduled to last 53 laps. Tire supplier Pirelli brought four types of tire to the race two dry compounds, the white banded medium options, and the orange banded hard primes and two wet weather compounds, intermediate and full wet. The drag reduction system, DRS, had one activation zone for the race, on the straight linking the final and first corners. The circuit underwent changes following the previous year's race. Parts of the track between the 14th and 15th turns were resurfaced. Tech Pro barriers were installed on the inside after the exit of turn 15, and lampposts near debris fences outside turns 13 and 14 were moved back. Going into the race, Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton led the Drivers' Championship 
with 241 points, three ahead of teammate Nico Rosberg, with Red Bull driver Daniel Ricciardo third with 181. Ferrari driver Fernando Alonso was fourth with 133, followed by Ricardo's teammate Sebastian Vettel with 124. Mercedes led the Constructors' Championship with 479 points, having won 11 of the previous 14 races of the season, while Red Bull were second with 305 points, having won the other three races. They were followed by Williams, 187, Ferrari, 178, and Force India, 117. Mercedes had to outscore Red Bull by 41 points to clinch the Constructors' title in Japan. Despite reclaiming the Drivers' Championship's lead at the preceding Singapore Grand Prix, Hamilton said that he was not relieved because of the closeness of the race. He said that he would take Rosberg's race-by-race -race approach and was happy to be performing well. Hamilton, who had yet to win the Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka, aimed for a victory at the circuit. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner said that the championship was out of their reach, although he hoped further reliability problems with the Mercedes cars would prolong the battle. Horner ruled out team orders favoring one driver over the other. Rosberg said he was looking forward to the race, and his car's speed gave him hope for a good result. Typhoon Fanfoni, classified as a Category 4 storm, was forecast to make landfall over the eastern Japanese coast on race day with heavy rain and winds of up to 240 km per hour, 150 miles per hour. Although the storm was predicted to miss Suzuka, Heavy rain from its northern edge was expected to drench the circuit. The Russian Grand Prix, scheduled for the following week, made it impossible for the Japanese Grand Prix to be postponed until Monday due to freight schedules to Russia for the team's equipment. Bernie Ecclestone, owner of Formula One's commercial rights, raised the possibility of moving up the start time, but later said that the event would proceed as planned. The Federation Internationale di Automobile FIA race director Charlie Whiting suggested to race organizers that the start time be moved and warned them that the race would not take place unless it was declared safe, but they refused. Honda, the owners of the track, reportedly rejected the start time change to allow spectators to arrive at Suzuka in time for the start. Whiting was also overruled by senior FIA officials who opposed the disruption of the event's worldwide television coverage. There were driver changes for the first free practice session. Max Verstappen replaced John Eric Verne as part of his preparation for a full-time seat at Toro Rosso in the 2015 season. Aged 17 years and 3 days, Verstappen was the youngest person in history to participate in a Formula 1 race weekend. Keatrum confirmed that Roberto Murray would replace Marcus Ericsson and Kamui Kobayashi would drive in the race. Formula Renault 3.5 series driver Will Stevens was announced as participating in the first practice session in Max Children's car, but a problem with paperwork sent to the FIA Contract Recognition Board due to an industrial action in Germany prevented him from driving. Section 2. Practice Three practice sessions, two on Friday and a third on Saturday, were held before the race on Sunday. The Friday morning and afternoon sessions lasted 90 minutes each. The third, one-hour session was held on Saturday morning. Mercedes conducted race simulations to see how the cars would behave with a heavy fuel load. Rosberg was fastest in the first practice session with a lap time of 1 minute 35.461 seconds, ahead of teammate Hamilton in second. Alonso was third fastest, ahead of Valtteri Bottas, Kimi Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, Ricardo, Jensen Button, Vettel, and Daniel Kafiat. Verstappen's run ended early when he pulled over to the side of the track at the S-curves with smoke billowing from his engine because of a broken exhaust valve, while Murray spun at turn 13, causing Botas to swerve to avoid him. In the second session, Hamilton set the fastest lap of the day at 1 minute 35.078 seconds. Rosberg, Botas, Button, Vettel, Raikkonen, Alonso, 
Magnussen, Kafiat, and Ricardo completed the top 10. Some cars went off the track. Ricardo disrupted the session for 8 minutes when an oversteer sent him into a barrier at turn 18. Kobayashi lost control of the rear of his Keytrim at turn 3, damaging his rear suspension and front wing, while Vern stopped his car on the back straight after exiting the spoon curve with a fuel pump problem. Esteban Gutierrez later lost control of his Sauber entering the spoon curve and crashed into a tire barrier. Vern stopped a second time with an electrical problem after exiting turn 14. This resulted in a second red flag stopping the session early due to limited time available. Rosberg recorded the fastest lap of the third session at 1 minute 33.228 seconds, ahead of Hamilton and Alonso. Felipe Massa, Botas, Ricardo, Magnussen, Vern, Kafiat, and Button occupied positions 4 through 10. Hamilton drove quickly into the first turn, but ran wide onto a runoff area and collided with a tire barrier, damaging the left front quarter of his car, while Gutierrez lost control of his car's rear at the exit of turn 15, but avoided a crash. Section 3. Qualifying Saturday afternoon's qualifying session was divided into three parts. The first part ran for 18 minutes, eliminating cars that finished 17th or below. The 107% rule was in effect during this part, requiring drivers to set a time within 107% of the fastest lap in order to qualify. The second part lasted 15 minutes, eliminating cars that finished 11th through 16th. The final session lasted 12 minutes and determined pole position to 10th. Cars who progressed to the final session were not allowed to change tires for the race start, using the tires with which they set their quickest lap times in the second session. Rosberg set the fastest time in the second and third sessions to clinch his eighth pole position of the season, the 12th of his career, and his first at Suzuka with a lap of 1 minute 32.506 seconds. He was joined on the grid's front row by Hamilton, who messed out on pole position when, on his final lap, he hit the chicane curb before accelerating too fast into the final corner. Williams' teammates Botas and Massa qualified 3rd and 4th, and Alonso and Ricardo took 5th and 6th. Magnussen, whose mistakes on his quickest time lap cost him time, took 7th. His McLaren teammate Button secured 8th and locked one of his tires, flat spotting it and slowing him. Vettel, struggling on corners due partially to Red Bull's use of red tires, took 9th. Raikkonen was 10th, encountering problems with his car's bounce which prevented him from pushing. Vern was the fastest driver not to advance into the final session. Because his team had changed his engine, he received a 10th place grid penalty, his 6th of the season. This promoted Force India's Sergio Perez to 11th position. He encountered slower cars entering the final chicane, which forced him to slow and lose brake and tire pressure. Kafiat's final time lap was disrupted by slower cars. When he entered the first corner, his tires had not reached their optimal temperature, compromising his run and leaving him 12th. Nico Hülkenberg qualified 13th in the other Force India car after he locked his tires at the final chicane. Adrian Sutil progressed to the second session after making balanced setup changes and took 14th in its closing seconds. His Sauber teammate, Gutierrez, struggled with tire temperature and was delayed by traffic on his outlap, leaving him 15th. Pastor Maldonado failed to advance beyond the first qualifying session, but Lotus installed a new engine, his sixth of the year, in his E22 chassis on Friday morning. Like Vern, he incurred a 10th place grid penalty, carried over to the next race because he qualified within the top 10 bottom positions. His teammate, Roman Grosjean, took over 16th position and aimed to qualify higher. However, a change in wind direction prevented him from recording a faster lap time. Ericsson and Jules Bianchi started from 17th and 18th, with Kobayashi 19th and Vern 20th. Chilton lost control of his Marussia's rear, causing him to start 21st. Section 3.1 Qualifying Classification A table is included to show the qualifying classification. 
Included in the table is the position, the driver number, the driver, the constructor the driver drives for, the times in each of the three qualification sessions, and the grid position. The fastest lap in each of the three sessions is denoted in bold. The qualifying order was Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Felipe Massa, Fernando Alonso, Daniel Ricciardo, Kevin Magnussen, Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, John Eric Verne, Sergio Perez, Daniel Kafiat, Nico Hulkenberg, Adrian Sutil, Esteban Gutierrez, Pastor Maldonado, Ramon Grosjean, Marcus Eriksson, Jules Bianchi, Kamui Kabayashi, and Max Chilton. Included in the table is the 107% time, which is 1 minute 40.163 seconds. Notes. Pastor Maldonado and John Eric Verne both received a 10-place group penalty for exceeding their quota of five engine components for the season. <clears throat> Section 4. Brace. There was a large amount of standing water on the track at the start, since Typhoon Fanfoni had brought heavy rain to the area. The air temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the track temperature was 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. About 142,000 people attended the race. The standing water caused heavy spray and impaired visibility, and all cars used full wet tires. The race began behind the safety car at 1500 Japan Standard Time, UTC plus 9 hours, with no formation lap. Despite the slow speed, Drivers struggled for grip on the wet surface. Ericsson lost control of his car after accelerating out of the final turn, spinning into a gravel trap. Marshalls pulled his car out of the gravel, allowing him to keep driving. Following complaints from Hamilton about poor visibility, the race was suspended after two laps. The cars drove back into the pit lane, lined up in grid formation, and their engines were shut off. Several cars had their ride heights raised to make them less prone to aquaplaning on their underbody planks. The race was restarted 20 minutes later behind the safety car after the rain eased. Alonso stopped his car with an electrical issue, possibly a short circuit from the wet conditions to become the race's first retirement on lap 3. His departure promoted Ricardo to 5th place, with Magnussen 6th and Button 7th. Although Hamilton became concerned about his Mercedes brakes, he was told that it was a relatively minor sensor problem. He and Verne reported that conditions had improved, but Vettel and Massa said that visibility remained poor. The safety car drove into the pit lane at the end of lap 9, and cars were allowed to overtake. Button immediately made a pit stop to fit intermediate tires. Hamilton unsuccessfully attempted to overtake Rosberg heading into the first corner, while Vettel tried to pass Magnussen going into the hairpin, also without success, and then he then ran wide at the spoon curve but remained on the track. Perez overtook Kafia for ninth position on the lap. At the end of the first racing lap, Rosberg led Hamilton by 1.3 seconds, followed by Botas, Massa, Ricardo, Magnussen, Vettel, Raikkonen, Perez, and Kafia. Botas, Ricardo, Magnussen, and Raikkonen made pit stops to change the intermediate tires on lap 12. After his early pit stop, Button moved up to 8th place on the same lap. Massa and Vettel made their pit stops on lap 13, Vettel moving in front of Massa and rejoining ahead of teammate Ricardo. Rosberg made his pit stop on lap 14 and rejoined in 2nd position, 22 seconds behind Hamilton who recorded fast sector times in an attempt to move ahead of Rosberg after the latter's pit stop. Hamilton went off onto the runoff area at the spoon curve, reducing the gap by one second. Rosberg reclaimed first position when Hamilton approached the exit of the pit lane after the latter's stop. He reported that his car was oversteering, and Button held a 6.5 second advantage over both Williams' cars. The Red Bull cars reduced the gap to Massa in 6 by lap 16, with Vettel moving to the inside line and passing Massa with a narrow margin at the hairpin on this lap. Ricardo then attempted a similar maneuver on the outside at the spoon curve, 
the Massa accelerated clear heading into 130R corner. Magnussen made a second pit stop at the end of lap 16 to change his steering wheel. On lap 17, Ricardo went to the outside of Massa on the S-curves and moved inside, passing Massa to move into 6. Bell overtook Botas around the outside for 4th place on lap 18. Botas then fell to 5th on lap 19th when Ricardo passed him on the outside of the S-curves. Bell began to reduce the gap to 3rd place button, with Ricardo driving at a speed similar to his teammate. Botas was caught by his Williams teammate, Massa, who pulled away from Hulkenberg, who went off the track at the second turn. Both Red Bull drivers were the fastest by lap 21, but Vettel was still 13 seconds behind Button and a further 5 seconds behind Rosberg, who now led Hamilton by only 1 second, having run off the track at 130R. A dry line began to emerge by this time as some drivers drove through standing water to keep their tire temperatures down. DRS was enabled on lap 24. Although Hamilton had closed Rosberg's lead to half a second and used DRS, he could not pass his teammate. Raikkonen made a pit stop this lap, which went wrong as his mechanics struggled to install a front right wheel nut correctly. Hamilton tried to pass Rosberg again the following lap by following in his slipstream, but Rosberg held the line and had enough acceleration to defend first place. Hamilton held a tighter line, while Rosberg complained of more oversteer on lap 26. On lap 27, Hamilton forgot to deactivate his DRS system and lost control of his rear. His brakes locked, and he went into the turn 1 runoff area. However, he caught up to Rosberg and ran closely behind his teammate into the hairpin without trying to pass. Hamilton moved across the track during the lap in an attempt to pass. Rosberg's car shuddered, and Hamilton got a better run onto the pit lane straight. He was in Rosberg's slipstream before passing him on the outside heading into the first corner to take the lead on lap 29. Hamilton pushed hard and pulled away from Rosberg, who lost control heading into the pit lane straight. Gutierrez lost ninth position on lap 30 when he was passed by Kafiat, who drove through standing water on the inside of the pit lane straight and used DRS. Vettel made his second pit stop for intermediate tires on the same lap, rejoining in fifth behind Ricardo but ahead of both Williams cars. Barton, still third, recorded faster lap times than Rosberg closing the gap to 12.8 seconds by the beginning of lap 31. Perez overtook Gutierrez to take over 10th position on the same lap. Button made a second pit stop for new intermediate tires at the end of lap 31. His pit crew also changed his steering wheel, lengthening the stop and putting him behind both Red Bull drivers. Bello recorded a new fastest lap of the race at 1 minute and 51.915 seconds, 2.3 seconds quicker than Hamlet. Rosberg made his second stop for new intermediate tires on lap 33 and came up behind Ricardo. Magnussen experienced understeer and spun 360 degrees after running onto a runoff area. Hamilton made a pit stop at the end of lap 35 for new intermediate tires, giving Ricardo the lead. Heavy rain began to fall on lap 36. Ricardo made his pit stop during this lap and rejoined fifth, behind Hamilton, Rosberg, Vettel, and Button. On lap 38, Magnussen ran wide into the first turn runoff area, while Verne went off the track at the second corner and Vettel drove into a gravel trap at the S turns. All three drivers continued running. Ricardo closed up the button on the same lap and attempted to pass him around the inside at the hairpin. Button defended his position and Ricardo ran wide. Hamilton recorded the overall fastest lap of the race on lap 39 at 1 minute and 51.6 seconds. Weather conditions continued to deteriorate, resulting in DRS being disabled on lap 41. Visibility was reduced due to fading light and low cloud cover, which while drivers were dazzled by the lights on their steering wheels. Ricardo attempted to overtake Button again that lap by taking the inside line into the hairpin, but Button took a wide line. Ricardo finally got past at the hairpin on lap 42 with Button then making a pit stop for full wet tires. On the same lap, Sutil aquaplaned into the outside tire barrier at the left-hand Dunlop curve atop a hill. Double yellow flags were waved at the corner to warn drivers about the incident, and Whiting did not use the safety car. 
Sutil's car was extracted from the track by a tractor crane that lap and turned backwards towards a gap in the barrier. Then, on lap 43, Bianchi lost control of his Marussia at 213 kilometers per hour, 132 miles per hour, veering right towards the runoff area outside the Dunlop curve, way into the grass and crashed against the tire wall as expected. Although he applied his throttle and brake pedals simultaneously, his failsafe system did not work because the settings of his brake-by-wire system were incompatible. Bianchi collided with the left rear wheel of the tractor crane, which caused extensive damage to his car. Its roll bar was destroyed as it slid underneath. The impact briefly jolted the tractor crane off the ground, causing Sutil's car, suspended in the air by the crane, to fall to the ground. Marshalls moved away from the scene to avoid being struck by Bianchi's Marussia. Calculations in July 2015 indicated a peak of 254 Gs, 2,490 meters per second squared, and data from the FIA's World Accident Database, which sources information from racing accidents worldwide, indicate that Bianchi's impact occurred 2.61 seconds after loss of control at a speed of 123 kilometers per hour. 76 miles per hour, at an angle of 55 degrees. Bianchi was reported unconscious after not responding to a team radio call or marshals. Marshals reported the accident, and safety and medical cars were dispatched. Bianchi was extricated from his car and treated at the crash site before being taken by ambulance to the circuit's medical center. Transport by helicopter was impossible due to the weather so Bianchi was taken by ambulance with a police escort to Mi Prefectural General Medical Center in Yokachi, about 50, 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, a 32-minute drive from the track. A second red flag was waved on lap 46, bringing the race to an early end. The results were taken from the running order at the end of lap 44. Hamilton thus won from teammate Rosberg by 9.1 seconds with Vettel's 20 seconds further back in third. Ricardo finished just under 10 seconds behind his Red Bull teammate and nearly half a minute ahead of Button. Massa, Botas, Hulkenberg, Verne, and Perez rounded out the point-scoring positions. Kvyat, Raikkonen, and Gutierrez filled the next three positions, each one lap behind Hamilton, with Magnussen, Grosjean, Maldonado, Eriksson, Shilton, and Kobayashi, the last of the classified finishers who were not involved in any incident. Bianchi and Sutil were classified in 20th and 21st, despite their accidents. Hamilton and Rosberg both led on two occasions, with Rosberg leading 26 of the 44 laps and Hamilton the other 18. Hamilton's victory was his eighth of the season, his first at Suzuka, and the 30th of his Formula One career. Section 4.1, after the race. Out of respect for the serious injured Bianchi, the top three finishers did not spray champagne. At the podium interviews conducted by the 1992 world champion, Nigel Mansell, Hamilton said it had been a difficult race weekend and his speed near the end of the race was reminiscent of the 2008 British Grand Prix. Rosberg had called it a good weekend for his team and congratulated Hamilton on the victory. Vettel said that he was lucky that the safety car came out and was happy with his performance. At a later press conference, Hamilton said that he was confident in his car's balance when he passed Rosberg on lap 28 and saw no difference in the amount of standing water on the track when more heavy rain fell. Although Rosberg's car was set up similar to Hamilton's, he was unhappy with its balance and tried to adjust it during his pit stop. According to Vettel, the weather was borderline, and his time de decided to make a pit stop when it deteriorated. Bianchi's crash overshadowed the race. His father, Felipe, initially reported to Il Equipe that Bianchi was in critical condition with a head injury and was undergoing an operation to reduce severe cranial bleeding. The FIA then said that CT scans indicated that Bianchi sustained a, quote, severe head injury, end quote, in the crash and would be admitted to the intensive care unit after surgery. His family later reported that he had a diffuse axonal injury, a traumatic brain injury common in vehicle accidents involving quick deceleration. 
The first family update after Bianchi's emergency surgery was made by his father during the week of October 13th. The driver was reportedly in a desperate condition, with doctors saying that his survival would be a miracle. His father said he drew hope from the emergence of seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher from his coma. Marussia also issued regular updates on Bianchi's condition, denying initial speculation about their role in the accident. Former FIA president Max Mosley described it as a, quote, freak accident, end quote. Controversy arose after an amateur video clip of Bianchi's crash, showing a marshal waving a green flag at the crash site, was uploaded to social media. Four-time world champion Alain Prost said that the marshal should have moved away from the crash scene, but five-time 24 Hours of Le Mans winner Manuel Puero said it was normal practice and anyone who said otherwise was mistaken. According to several commentators, the marshal committed no infraction. Former driver and Sky Sports F1 announcer Martin Brundle called for recovery vehicles to be barred from driving on the track. Driver steward Mika Salo defended Whiting's decision not to deploy the safety car after Sutil's crash and minimized claims that the race was stopped for intensifying rain. Eddie Globo, lead commentator Galvo Bueno, however, was vocal in his criticism of Whiting's decision, describing it as, quote, the biggest mistake I've seen in 40 years in Formula One, end quote. The FIA announced a 10-person review panel composed of former drivers and team principals to investigate the cause of the accident and publish its findings four weeks later in Doha. According to the report, there was no single cause of Bianchi's accident. Contributing factors included track conditions, car speed, and the presence of a recovery vehicle on the track. The report made several suggestions to improve safety when recovering disabled vehicles, which were introduced in 2015 and concluded it would have been impossible to mitigate Bianchi's injuries with changes to cockpit design. Since 2015, for safety reasons, the FIA has required that the start time of certain Grands Prix be at least four hours before sunset or dusk, except for designated night races. FIA Safety Commission Chairman Peter Wright was quoted in July 2015 as saying that a closed cockpit would not have prevented Bianchi's head injuries, and Vice President Andy Mello confirmed that attaching impact prevention to recovery vehicles was unfeasible. Hospitalized in Yokai Chi, Bianchi remained in a critical but stable condition on a, mental, on a medical ventilator. He was removed from his induced coma in November and began breathing unaided, enabling him to be transferred to the Centre Hospitalier Universitari di Nice, CHU in Nice. Bianchi remained unconscious in critical condition there, but his family were better able to visit. On July 13, 2015, Bianchi's father said that he was, quote, less optimistic, end quote, about his son's chances because of the lack of significant progress and the length of time since the accident. Bianchi died four days later, aged 25, thus becoming the first Formula One driver to be killed by injuries sustained during a Grand Prix since Ayrton Senna, 1994. Bianchi's funeral on July 21st at Nice Cathedral was attended by members of, his, of the Formula One community. The race result increased Hamilton's lead over Rosberg in the Formula Dri World Drivers Championship to 10 points. Ricardo and Vettel maintained third and fourth place, and Alonso remained in fifth despite his retirement. Mercedes moved further ahead of Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship with a 180-point lead over the Austrian team. Williams increased their advantage over Ferrari in the battle for third, and Force India retained fifth place with four races left in the season. Section 4.2, Race Classification. A table is included to show the race classification. Included in this table is the driver's finishing position, the driver number, the driver name, the constructor the driver drives for, the number of laps completed, the time or reason for retirement, the grid position, and the number of points scored. Drivers who finish in the top 10 points scoring positions were, are denoted in bold. The point scorers were Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg, Sebastian Vettel, 
Daniel Ricardo, Jensen Button, Valtteri Botas, Felipe Massa, Nico Hulkenberg, John Eric Verne, and Sergio Perez. He is followed by Daniel Kafiat, Kimi Raikkonen, Esteban Gutierrez, Kevin Magnussen, Roman Grosjean, Pastor Maldonado, Marcus Eriksson, Max Chilton, Kamui Kobayashi, Jogus Bianchi, Adrian Sutil, and Fernando Alonso. Notes. 1. Pastor Maldonado had 20 seconds added to his race time for pit lane speeding. 2. Jules Bianchi and Adrian Sutil were classified, as they had completed at least 90% of the 44 laps used to determine the race result. 3. Jules Bianchi died on July 17, 2015 from injuries sustained during the accident. Section 5. Championship standings after the race. Drivers' Championship standings. In first, we have Lewis Hamilton with 266 points. In second, Nico Rosberg, 256 points. In third, Daniel Ricciardo with 193 points. In fourth, Sebastian Vettel with 139 points. In fifth, Fernando Alonso with 133 points. Constructors' Championship standings. In first, we have Mercedes with 522 points. In second, Red Bull Racing Renault with 332 points. In third, Williams Mercedes with 201 points. In fourth, Ferrari with 478 points. In fifth, Force India Mercedes with 122 points. Note, only the top five positions are included for both sets of standings. Section 6. Notes and References There are four notes which are mentioned here which add further detail to a few points in the article. References are included in the written form of the article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 7. External Links there is a link linking to Wikimedia Commons showing media related to the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix. This concludes the spoken article, 2014 Japanese Grand Prix. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen SA slash 3.0.